the dinosaur who lost his roar. This is a story about five dinosaurs, Sid, Spike, Ross, Ollie, and Rex. Sid lived in the middle of the big forest. He liked living in the forest. He liked crashing through bushes. Ooh hoo! He liked climbing tall trees. Yippee! And he liked splashing in the river. Aha! But most of all, Sid liked scaring other dinosaurs. Roar! Eeks! Ooh! He had the loudest roar of all. One day, Sid went for a walk. He saw Spike, but Spike didn't see him. Spike was picking berries. Mmm, these look juicy. Sid crept up behind Spike and gave a roar. Splat! Spike got covered in squashy berries. Ha ha, laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Spike. Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Ross was catching fish. Come here, little fishes. Sid crept up behind Ross and gave a roar. Splash! Ross fell into the water. Ha ha, laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Ross. Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Hee hee! Ollie was collecting eggs for her dinner. I'll have fried eggs tonight. Sid crept up behind Ollie and gave a roar. Crack! Eggs went everywhere. Ha ha, laughed Sid. That's not funny, Sid, said Ollie. Sid just grinned and stomped on his way. Ho ho. When Sid got home, his throat hurt. The next day, Sid went for another walk. He saw Spike picking berries. Sid crept up behind Spike and gave a crack up. Spike laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid went red in the face and tiptoed away. Sid came to the river. Ross was fishing. Sid's throat hurt, but he still wanted to roar. He crept up behind Ross and gave a crack. Ross laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid went red in the face and tiptoed away. Sid came to the tall trees. Ollie was collecting eggs. Sid's throat still hurt, but he wanted to roar. He crept up behind Ollie and gave a crack. Ollie laughed. Ha ha, Sid, you've lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid went red and ran all the way home. Sid didn't like being laughed at. It felt bad. He didn't like having a sore throat either. So he ate a spoonful of honey, drank some warm water, and went to bed. The next day, Sid's throat was better. He decided to visit Spike, Ross, and Ollie. I'll say sorry for scaring them, he thought. Then we can be friends. Sid went to the berry bushes, but Spike wasn't there. That's odd. He went to the river, but Ross wasn't there. That's funny. He went to the tall trees, but Ollie wasn't there. That's strange. Seed saw some footprints. They were at the bushes and the river too. They weren't spikes too long. They weren't rosses too wide. And they weren't ollies too deep. Seed followed the footprints. The footprints led to a huge dinosaur called Rex. Please don't eat us, Rex. Rex had taken Spike, Ross and Ollie home for dinner. Sid wanted to scare Rex, but did he had, have a roar? There was only one way to find out. Sid crept up behind Rex. He gave his biggest, strongest, loudest roar. Ooh, Rex was terrified. He ran off and didn't look back. Three cheers for Sid, cried the others. Hooray for Sid. His mighty roar saved us from that dinosaur. The end.